morning, sir. Morning. Please introduce yourself. I'm seeing you have some goodies for us. Can I have a copy? Yeah, you can even give one there. Yes, yeah, so this there. is Mr. Joseph Waishari, who is the author of the book, It's Time to Unfold. His book is all about purpose, potential, and a principle. Yeah. So the three Ps. Yeah, the three Ps. So tell me, what inspired you first to put it this uh, in, in hardcover, write a book about it? Yeah, thank you so much also for inviting me. Um, yeah, I'm Joseph Oishari. Uh, the reason why I thought about writing a book is because of what I passed through. Okay. Yeah, I think many young guys are actually looking for uh, something. Why, why was I created? Because in this generation, we have a lot we can do. Uh, there's so much we can do. And one of the things that I came to understand even for my personal life is that uh, I, I tried to look for why, why was I created? I tried to look for why did God uh, create me and put me on earth? I did a lot of things, even went to school, read a lot of uh, things, and, uh, but I was confused. People, I was, people think, uh, think that I was doing well. You know, when you go home, your parents are happy, you're actually making a living, but inside you, you're not fulfilled. People think you're doing well, maybe you're dressing good, maybe you're living well, but actually you're not comfortable. So that is why I sat down and I looked for, why did God create me? Uh, was I created to make people happy? Because I know I was created to be happy. Right. So I looked for why, the why, the big why in my life. Right. And that's why, because of those many thoughts, I came up with this book. So let me ask you, when mm -hmm. it comes to the three Ps, purpose, potential, mm -hmm. and principle, what comes first? Do I need to be principal to figure out what my purpose is, then I achieve my potential? So what comes first? What comes first is your purpose. Mm -hmm. you, the, uh, when you answer the question why, why was I created? It actually will make you be disciplined and will actually help you know uh, uh, your potential, your skills, your abilities. So the first thing that comes first, even the way I've written them, purpose, potential, and principle, purpose comes first. Why was I created? Why am I uh, this tall? Why am I this short? Why do I have maybe these passions? Why do I like these things? I don't like these things. Those are the things that will actually help you know your purpose. So the first thing I always say is actually, please uh, work very hard to understand your why your purpose. There, yeah, sorry. So if I look at uh, purpose, and I'm sure a lot of people, probably someone is watching us from home, and I've mm -hmm. kazi, I did this degree, nimetafuta kazi, nimekosa kila pahali. So how do I find my purpose? How do I stay silent enough to hear that inner voice that tells me you are created to do this? I know I'm, I'm breaking it down, I'm making it sound so simple, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's something you can just do in two <laughs> seconds. Yeah, of course, it's But you know simple. it's a bit more deeper than that. This topic has actually been... Uh, Many people are talking about purpose. And one of the things I came to understand, the things that people talk so much about are the most important things. For example, somebody told me this joke that you cannot wake up in the morning, even a criminal cannot wake up in the morning and come up with a 300 note fake because it will be very hard to convince people because there's no original. Mm. So if people are talking so much about something, it means it's so important. The same way with purpose. It's very easy actually to know your purpose. The way God created us, you know God is faithful. God is... Uh, is so perfect. He doesn't want us to struggle in life because he's God. So for us to know our <coughs> purpose is very simple. It's something in us, something that actually you love doing. There's this thing you love doing that you can actually, in fact, I say this, if you can move money, if you can remove money out of the picture, mm. what can you do and still be fulfilled without being paid? I like that. Fulfillment. Yeah, what fulfillment. fulfills you? Yeah. I think that's probably... It's, it's a compass to helping you find your purpose. What's that thing you would do and do for free? Yeah, that you feel that you can do it. Uh, the things that you do and you don't even know that time is moving. Those things that you can actually, somebody can wake you uh, in the middle of the night and you can just wake up and start doing it. Now, I'm going to put it out to our viewers. If uh, you want to walk away with a copy of this book, it's all about purpose, potential, and principle, mm -hmm. please tweet me at Mr. Mima. Let me know what your purpose is. And, of course, it's a very it's, it's a book with many pages, lots of wisdom in here as we have this conversation going. And if you have any questions that you want to direct to Mr. Jo Mr. Joseph Waishari here in studio, please feel free to call us here at Ebru Television. So let's talk about potential. Mm -hmm. How do I know that I'm living up to my potential? Potential is more about your skills, your abilities, the resources that God has provided in your life for you actually to uh, fulfill. I talk about unfolding your purpose. Right. Yeah, uh, because uh, many, other things, many other times we think that we actually need outside resources for actually to uh, fulfill our purpose. But no, most, more than 80% of the things you need, you are created with them. Right. Uh, this is how I put it, if I can go back, dog. This is how I put it. 
God first of all had a purpose to be fulfilled on earth. Then he created you in mind and even uh, gave you the resources to actually come and fulfill his purpose. In fact, our purpose is his big purpose. And he has divided it uh, uh, into parts and gave us, we as human beings. So the first thing that comes first, it's God's purpose, the will of God. And then he created me and maybe you so that we can come and fulfill his purpose. And so uh, God gave us different potentials so that we can come and unfold our purpose on earth. Mm. So for us to actually to know our potential, these are the resources that we don't, we don't struggle. For example, uh, there, there's some things in life like, uh, you, uh, like maybe singing. Me, I sing in the bathroom because I cannot sing outside. You know, when I sing in the bathroom, I sing in the bathroom. So uh, these are things that you don't struggle. Uh, there's some things that somebody can do, and uh, he has not even practiced, and not even gone to school. But the way he's doing them, adding maybe some education, it becomes now a professional. Those are right. the things. Things that you do, you're just wired to do them. They are just automatic, and you don't struggle to do them. Maybe with some small training and small education, you now burst out, you unfold. So potential are the resources that God has created in you. Things that you are wired to do, so that when you know your purpose, you will actually be happy to actually fulfill your purpose because now you have the resources to, uh, to accompany your purpose. Mm. So potential are the things that God, the skills, the abilities. Some of them we can go to school and learn them, but more than 80% God has actually created in us. Now the work is this, it is for us to unfold them. Because the world has a system in them that the world wants us to do what it wants. The world wants us to, the world fold us to do what the world wants. But God has created us to unfold, to bring out the, the resources that he has created in us. Now, we've touched on purpose, potential. What about principle? Principle is all about the character. Okay. You can know your, your, your purpose. You can be very good, you know your potential. But some of the people on this earth, they don't have the character, the discipline. Uh, for example, you get a very good accountant. Mm. You get a very good marketer. You get a very good CEO. But this, uh, the, the thing that brings him down, a very small thing like discipline, maybe small right. like theft, integrity. Right. You can know your purpose. You can be very good in your potential, but you can never go far unless you become a person of discipline. And I think a lot of people realize that it's, it's often said that uh, talent is great, yeah. but talent without discipline, yeah. it's a disaster. It's as it does, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I thank you uh, because I came in when you guys were talking about children and raising up children. Yes. Uh, more than 80% of actually discipline comes when you are maybe 12 years and below. Right. How, how are you brought up? Uh, what kind of information that goes on in the house, in the family? What kind of programs do you, uh, your parents watch when you're there? What kind of books do you read? What kind of information do you access? Because your mind is actually molded maybe 12 years and below. Because 12 years and above when you get to teens years, actually you're actually more unfolding what you've been fed. So the, uh, uh, us being disciplined, uh, it, it takes more about our parents, the society, when you're actually coming up in our minds, yeah, the kind of information we are accessing as we are growing up. Now, I understand we have a caller on the line. Good morning, John from Gedurai. Good morning. You have a question for us this morning? Um, sorry. Sorry, language now. This I'm getting. I'm getting a barrier, a barrier now. Yeah. You know, John? Yeah, John. But in the Kubinjana, the 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 Kimini,えなんだ、みんなビデオ動画とどうぞ。まあ、オッケー。ビデオ見たいんだけど、ちょっと待って、ビデオ見たいんだけど、ちょっと待って、ビデオ見たいんだけど、ちょっと待って、
It's, okay, that's a good question because most of the times, uh, the, the best resource God gave us is time. Mm. Time. Time defines everything. And sometimes you, you can be reading, you can be working very hard, you can be actually, maybe you have your company, you're actually marketing and nothing is coming. That time that nothing is happening, that is the time to self-develop yourself. In fact, in the book, there's... Uh, in uh, uh, the second uh, the second topic about uh, potential there's that where I talk about uh, self-development sometimes you're working very hard and there's no output uh, what we call output how you define maybe progress by maybe how much money you're making how you are growing uh, how maybe you are actually growing your business sometimes you're working very hard and we don't see what is happening in your life that is the best time to self-develop yourself because it will come another time where now Things are coming so fast and you have mm. no time to de develop yourself. That's where the principal part comes in. Your yeah. principles are being yeah. tested. So, yeah, you, are, you actually uh, yes. you have a foundation in yes. your character because nothing is coming. We don't see, you know, some people actually investing so much. Some uni be a sharamba because we, we don't see any growth. I think that's where now the yeah. point of instant gratification comes yeah. in. Yani we ni kama noodles. Unataka uneka kitu da katano. Yeah, this uh, we, we call it the we call it the the microwave generation. Yes. Uh, maybe our parents, maybe they they took more than ten years maybe to start their mm. companies and their businesses. They're actually making millions after twenty years. Yes. You want to start your company in two years and actually make it in life. That is the time you actually grow your character. That you don't see uh, you don't see maybe a very big output. But the output is more internal in that season more than external. You're right. actually growing your discipline. You're growing your confidence. You're growing your knowledge. You're actually becoming now more strong. Now, that is the time. People may actually define you like maybe in the wrong career, but you just need to grow with time. Self-development. Yeah, focus more on self-development. Focus more on feeding yourself because it will come a time now you'll actually work more on external. You'll be so busy even lacking time to grow yourself. So when things are not working and you're actually working hard, something is working. Mm. You are just, uh, maybe it's not external. It's okay. more internal. So I think I'm going to give out one of these books to John from Get the Right. John, mm. I understand that, uh, yeah, you've been very interactive with us this morning. Mm. So uh, just call back our studios. They'll let you know how you can collect a copy of It's Time to Unfold. And hopefully this book will set you on your way to being a successful person who will live up to his full potential. Now, finally, as we wind up, yeah. probably, and this is something that probably a lot of people go through, can purpose change? I set out maybe, and let me talk from a career perspective, maybe I set out, <coughs> I went to med school, studied to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Then midway I decided, no, this is not it. I want to be something else. So can purpose change? Actually, purpose, uh, their purpose is not changing. It's mm -hmm. actually you are knowing your purpose. There's a good story I had for the late Mice Monroe. Uh, this guy who studied medicine for mm -hmm. like seven years, practices for 10 years. Oh, so, oh, look at that. And I was using that just as yeah. a random example. <laughs> yeah, so this guy studied medicine for seven years, practices for 10 years, and then it came a time, like the county, maybe example, like Nairobi County wanted to actually uh, appreciate him, maybe uh, give him a present. Uh, so the, maybe the governor of that place organized a very big party, invited all the delegates, even the president. So it came a time for this guy now to talk back and say maybe thank you, maybe uh, now, now appreciate the society of what he had, had planned for him. But uh, this guy stepped on stage, uh, maybe did <coughs> open maybe his notes, and from that time, the next five minutes, he started crying. So people thought it's the emotion, maybe for how yes. happy he was. He cried for five minutes, ten minutes. Now the chairman who organized the event, I uh, wonder there's something go uh, going on. So he went slowly to him and uh, maybe talked to him and told him what is going on. And the only word that came out of his mouth is this, I am tired. I am tired. I am. He said, I'm tired like ten times. So the chairman took him, just as a side kid, go and asked him what's wrong. He said, I am tired of actually being a doctor. Mm. This is not me. I'm not happy. Actually, I studied medicine because my parents Wanted told me, me medicine is more lucrative than yes. any other. And he's good at it because yeah. he's being recognized. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he said, I am tired. I am right. tired. So uh, maybe after some few hours, uh, the chairman came and asked him, what did you want to be in life? He said, I wanted to be a DJ. I love music. Now you see. Wow, what a contrast. For Dr. 17 DJ. years. Uh, for 17 years. And actually, many of the times our parents force us to do some things. Mm. Maybe your parents want to be an accountant. He was not able to be. So he wants to see an accountant in their children. So he even pays for your school fees. He forces you to go to school. But it will come a time that you feel that you actually, the you, the, the fake you and the real you, actually, there's a very big distance. Right. And now that is the time, actually. And, and, and uh, the, the owner of my. Uh, is it, is it Mark Fies? I didn't think Mark Fies. Saturday, 65 years. Mm. Imagine, 65 years. Wow. 
And, and some of us, we think we are old. And even our parents have this thing that, may I'm old. Maybe uh, you will actually become what I want to become. So basically what you're saying is that you're never too old to yeah, discover yeah. your purpose. And, and the problem is sometimes we think you're in our purpose and we are not in our purpose. Right. It's time actually to unfold. So it's, it's okay to make that yeah. shift. Yeah, it's okay. And yeah. it's very comfortable. Sometimes we are uncomfortable for the external people. But the internal you, you actually need to find your purpose. Right. Some very wise words there from Mr. Joseph Waishari. Remember, I've already given out one book to John from Get the Right. John, please call our studio so we can let you know how you can pick up your copy of the book. And I still have two more copies to give away. You can get at me via Twitter at Mr. Mima, hash New Day KE on Twitter to stand a chance to win yourself a copy of this book right here. It's all about unfolding your purpose. Well, thank you so much for staying with us this morning and watching Ebru TV. I'm going to call it a day right here. I'll be back here tomorrow morning morning with some more updates for you, some interesting conversations that I hope will help you make yourself better, improve your life. Well, that is it from me, Tamima Ibrahim, and the rest of the crew here from Ebru TV. Please do enjoy the rest of your viewing. Goodbye.